very pleasant morning students welcome to social science online class class 8th session 10 subject social science topic unit 5 history introduction to educational development in india listen the class carefully don't skip the class students before enter into the topic let me ask a, a few questions listen them carefully and note down the questions and answers first question what is the meaning of educational development i repeat the question what is the meaning of educational development answer is educational development is a sub discipline of higher education research and practice especially it is about supporting and enhancing the design and development of high quality student learning experience second question who is the father of indian education i repeat the question who is the father of indian education answer is the thomas babington macaulay is the father of indian education third question who is known as father of education i repeat the question who is known as father of education answer is horas man is known as father of education fourth question how is important education i repeat the question how is important education answer is education gives us a knowledge of the world around us and change it into something better okay students let's move to the topic education is a continuous process of acquiring and sharing of knowledge skill and values it is recognized as the foundation of a progressive society it plays vital role in shaping responsible people the world we live in is constantly changing and developing so to meet the challenges and overcome the obstacles we need to be well educated and know the role of the education education in ancient india the historical sources provide the information that from very early times the tradition of teaching and learning had been in oj in india the concept of education might have originated from the vedas the literal meaning the sanskrit word veda is knowledge and the word derived from the word wit which means to know our education system evolved over many centuries and focused on the holistic development of the individual by taking care of both the innate and the latent of capacities it is emphasized on the values such as humanity truthfulness discipline self reliance and respect for all certains creations sources of learning students let's learn on sources of learning you must have heard the names of panini aryabhata katyana and patanjali the writing and the medical treatises of saraka and susruda were also some of sources of learning various disciplines such as history logic interpretation architecture polity and agricultural trade etc were taught physical education to was an important curricular areas and public participate in games and recreational activities gurus and students worked together to become 
proficient in all aspect of learning in order to assess students skill literary debates were organized to student at an advanced stages of learning guide younger students a system of peer learning was also practiced like you have a group work let's move on to ancient education system in india a way of life gurukula system in ancient india both formal and informal education existed indigenous education was imparted at home in temples padasalas and gurukulas there were people in homes villages and the temples who guided the young children imbuing bias ways of life temples played a vital role in imparting education and served the century of learning students went to vigaras and universities for higher studies teaching was oral and students remembered and meditated upon what we taught in the gurugulas many of these gurugulas were named after the sagas situated in forest in serenity and peaceful surroundings A hundreds of students used to learn together in gurugulas during the yearly period education was imparted by the teacher guru or acharya to the public who gathered around him and came to live in his house as member of his family this is was known as gurukula system of education during that period the guru and the sisyas lived together helping each other in day to day life the main objective was to have complete learning learning a disciplined a life and relationship one of the inner potential students lived away from the home for years together till they achieved their goals the curricula was also the place where the relationship between the guru and the students strengthened with time many monasteries and vikaras were set up the for for the monks and the nuns to meditate debate and discuss with the land for the quest for knowledge around this vikaras other educational centers of higher learning developed which attract st- students from the china korea tibet burma Sh- silon java nepal and other countries vigaras and university buddhist period taxila was an ancient indian city which is now north western pakistan it is an important archaeological site and unesco declared it a world heritage site in 1980s it is a fam rest on the university where sanakya is said that have composed his Arthur Sastra Archaeologist Alexander Hanneham discovered it is a ruins in the mid 19th century The Jalak Tals accounts given by the Hyun Sung and Ai Sung Chinese scholars and other sources tell us that the kings and a society took on active interest in promoting education through monsels and the vigorous Buddhist scholars carried out the educational work as a result many famous educational centers came into existence among the most notable universities that emerged during that period were situated at taxila and nalanda vallabhai vikramashila patanapuri and chadala these universities developed in connection with the vigaras those at banaras and kanji developed in relationship with their temples and became center of community life in the place where they were situated 
this institution created to the needs of advanced level students such students joined the center of higher learning and developed the knowledge by mutual discussion and debates with a renowned with a scholars not only that there were also occasional summoning by the king of gathering in which the scholars of the various vigaras and the universities would meet debate and exchange the views role of the teacher teachers had complete autonomy in the all aspect from selection of students to designing the syllabi when the teacher was satisfied with the performance of the students the course concluded he would admit as a many students as he liked and they taught what his student were keen and learn debate and discussion were the primary methods of teaching teachers were assisted by the advanced level students the ancient nalanda university was a center of learning from 5th century to 12th century located in present day rajgir bihar nalanda was one of the oldest university of the world and unesco declared the rights of the nalanda mahavira is a world heritage site the new nalanda university is envisages the center of indus civilizational dialogue okay students i hope you understand on introduction to the educational development in india before winding the session let's move on to the homework session note down the following questions first question where is the taxila located i repeat the question where is the taxila located second question what is the origin of the word veda i repeat the question what is the origin of the word veda third question what is the ancient education system in india i repeat the question what is the ancient education system in india fourth question which was one of the oldest university in in the world i repeat the question which was one of the oldest universities in the world okay students see you in next class thank you